Hello everyone and welcome. This is Christy from Crafty Christy's Creations and today I have another Silhouette Studio tutorial for you. And this one is all about digital papers and how we can use them inside a Silhouette Studio. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just jumping over to a blank page here and what I'm going to do is go to my open file and I'm going to navigate to my patterns. These I found um, on designbundles.net and they were uh, free patterns right now. So I will put a link in um, so you can get these too if you're interested. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick one of these and hit open. And it's just going to open that. I am using the JPEG version just because you're going to get a higher resolution with the JPEG. Um, that you would uh, instead of using the PNG file. And if I zoom out here, you can see that this is a huge, huge pattern. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fix that. The first thing I'm going to do is come over here to my transform panel. And then I'm going to click on this little sideways arrow and that's my scale key. So with this selected, I'm going to go ahead and scale it to 33%. And you can see that's a much more manageable size. Another way you can do it is right up here. You have your same little scale button. You can click there and you can see it scaled it another 33%. So now that's a lot closer to what I want. So let's go ahead and zoom back into our mat. And I've got my mat set up here to be just a regular um, letter size sheet of paper. Let me get rid of those for right now. And then if I just wanted to use this and to print myself a colored piece of paper, I can go ahead and just resize this guy to fit. And even when I'm doing that, I kind of like having my pattern bleed over the edge of the paper a little bit. So um, it's kind of hard to see. So I'll pull this down a little bit. You can see I've got my digital paper here a little bit wider than my sheet of paper. That way it's going to print all the way to the edge. And I know um, my printer, you always have to have a, a margin. I don't have a um, print to the edge printer, but if you do definitely oversize your pattern a little bit so that way you have pattern all the way to the edge and it'll look a lot more like um, the pattern paper that you would buy at the store. So if you wanted to go ahead and do this, all you would need to do is come up here to print and then you can go ahead and print yourself a sheet of uh, pattern paper. Other things that you can do with this, you can apply this pattern to shapes and text. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So if I come over here and I pull in um, a shape here, let's go ahead and pull in a lightning bolt, or a little zigzag. So we'll get that drawn out. And then I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to get my little selection tool because I'm done with that. And the other thing we can do is come over here and we can type text. So I'm just going to put hello. And then you, when you're adding a pattern to text, you definitely want to use a chunkier text so that it has room to fill it in with a font. Let me highlight that and try again. So highlight your text and then you can pick a new font. Okay, so with both of these selected, I'm going to take my, um, pattern paper here and I'm going to hold down alt or option on a Mac and I'm going to click and make another copy and I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to send it to the back just so that you can see that I'm grabbing my pattern and also my design here. So I'm going to rubber band select both of these objects and then I'm going to come over to my modify panel. So up here you only have weld. So you need to come over to the side here to your modify panel and we're going to do crop. It cuts the pattern down to fit into the shape. 
And uh, let's go ahead and make another copy. So again, holding down Alt or Option, clicking and dragging. And then once more, I'm going to send that to the back so that you can see my little hello word here. And then again, I'm going to rubber band select. First thing, let's make this hello a little bit bigger. So I've got it selected. We might need to bring that to the front. There we go. Let's see if I can click just that hello. Let's get this out of the way. Let's make this hello a little bit bigger before we do this so you can really see the effects. And then we can add that on there. Again, rubber band select the pattern paper and the hello. And again, we're going to come to the modify panel and hit crop. And you can see it went ahead and cropped it straight to just those letters. Now, if you were doing this as a print and cut and now you wanted to use these pieces and cut them out, bring them over here. I'm going to go ahead and give them a red outline just so we can better see the borders of what we're doing. And then I'm just going to arrange this stuff a little better on my print and cut. And then as always with your print and cut, you want to turn on your registration marks. And then I also like to turn on my print border and my cut border. So your print border is this gray one here. Anything printed needs to be within that line and anything that's going to be cut needs to be within this cut border. So now you've got those on there and you can go ahead and come up here and print that out and then go over here to your send panel so you can cut out on the outside. So when you do that, when you come to your send panel, because this is just filled with a pattern, right now I don't have any cut lines. So I'm gonna click on each letter I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit make compound path. And then I'm going to hit cut. And now it's going to show those cut lines. So on this one here, if I just hit cut, all right, so you can see now it's put that red border around everything and now you are ready. It's going to cut this edge out of your print and cut and then it'll print it with the pattern and then cut it out. So that is a few different ways that you can use digital papers in your crafting on your silhouette. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.